Uh, hello, party people. It is I, Serena. Um, this is not how I normally uh, start videos. Do I have stuff in my teeth? Who cares? Um, but I just want to let you know, uh, I will be doing voiceover in this video. Um, I wanted to start the kit, but I felt like I couldn't start it um, without filming the unboxing because I did want to unbox it because I haven't seen anyone else do it. Um, but I had a really, really hard couple of days and ended up uh, having a meltdown. I, I'm autistic, so I, I had a meltdown. And um, I was nonverbal for a couple of days, and I just, I really wanted a diamond paint because it's very soothing for me. Um, so I filmed the unboxing with no sound. I could, like, do some, like, little, little grunts and stuff. Um, but I'd, uh, it, I, I have to do a voiceover. <laughs> Um, today, so I'm, that's, that's what that is. Um, obviously my voice isn't, uh, a hundred percent just yet, uh, cause I'm still going through some stress stuff, which I'll, I'll talk about in, uh, a whip and chats, but it's late. My, my voice was working and then a bunch of stuff happened, uh, and, and now it's late. So I'm, I'm kind of stalling out, but, um, that's, that's why it's a little weird. That's not how I normally do my videos. Um, but I just had to accommodate what I was working with at the time. Here's here's a nice little uh, pebbles <laughs> vibe for you and some uh, bananas. Okay, enjoy the video. Hello, if uh, the audio sounds like crap, it's because my dog is spazzing out on the bed and we are at a rest stop in the middle of Washington. Long story, I'll get into it later, but uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm like reacting slash voiceovering. Oh, I'm waving hello. I'm so cute. Um, so this is an unboxing video. We will be unboxing Always Us by Mandy Manzano. It is a round diamond painting. 32 by 50 centimeters. For me, this is snack size, uh, but for, for you, it may not be, and that's that's okay. All right, I'm, I'm gonna open this hoe. I was really excited about the toolkit because my uh, my tray was like snapped in one spot. Uh, there, there's all the things. If you want to pause it and see all the things, you can get in a Diamond Art Club kit. If you like the people that are watching my videos, uh, know, know what those are by now. But I was very excited to get a new tray because mine was cracked and gross. So I was ready to toss that one out and get a new one. Okay. Look at all that stuff. Wow. Oh yeah, my cute little cover minder. Yay. All right, I'm showing that the bag is empty. Great, good job, past Serena. A shit ton of baggies to put your diamonds in. Pen and squishy situation, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I try real hard to squish this hoe on here and it, oh God, the noise. Yeah, <laughs> see, even in my hand motions, I said, oh, fuck it. Uh, heart wax. You get two heart waxes. Oh my god, my nails are so dirty. Please ignore that. It's not like because I don't know how to wash my hands. It's because I live in dirt. All right, washi tape. It's a little polka dotted. It's very cute and kind of matches the kit, honestly. Oh, look at me trying to be a YouTuber. God, I needed to trim my nails. I was so excited about this little this little cover minder. It's like half a, a macaroon or macaron or however the hell you say it. I don't know. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm showing you put the little, you little, the little magnet on the back and then you pop, pop the, yeah, you pop the cute part on the front to keep your cover in place. That's me trying to mime that. God, I'm doing so good, man. I'm proud of me. Little multi-placers if you're into that sort of thing. I don't really do that yet because I want my kits to last me a really long time. I'm trying to like get the number to show up. That's like a, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Four placer. And then, I think that's a, yeah, seven placer. Nice. And then, yeah, my seven placer had, like, the plastic was still, like, it hadn't been cut right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I'm showing that. Oh, my, my little huffy noise. Jesus. 
I was having a hard day, guys. This is the, the best I could do. So please be nice in the comments. And uh, if, if you don't mind some autistic behavior, you should probably subscribe. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, look, little sticker to put wherever. I don't have a logbook. I just use Gems Flow, so I don't really know what to do with those just yet. Ooh, yay, plastic sleeve. All right, ASMR if you're into that, I guess. <laughs> I'm not, it drives me insane. There's two kinds of autistic people. People that like ASMR and people who like their skin crawls. I'm the second one. Trying to toss everything everywhere, which is hard to do when you live in a van because there's not a lot of everywhere to toss things. How much more? We Jesus. I have so much more of this. How did I go so slow? Oh, yeah. Hooray. Oh. I was so excited about this one. And it looks so good. It's very cute. I actually got this canvas because my mom told me about a painting that my aunt did. Yeah, that's my flappy hands because I'm excited. Uh, she told me about a painting that my aunt did that looked a lot like this. Um, so, and I couldn't get it for a bunch of reasons. So that's why I wanted this kit. Uh, here's a little pamphlet. Tells you what's included. Tips and tricks on how to diamond paint. The code for your next purchase. I have never bought a diamond art club full price. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. There's always a coupon code somewhere. VIP Facebook group if you have socials. QR codes if you have socials and things. I do not, but if you do, that's cool. There's the big sticker showing all the colors. It has 32 colors. Yeah, 32 colors. And two of them are ABs. 134 and 141. Yep, two ABs. Good job, Pass Serena. All right. Oh, I'm showing all the little. Oh, cute. I'm like, look at look at how. It's a, it's a very small bag. That's what I'm trying to say. Not a lot of drills because it's not a lot of canvas. But that you know that tracks. And I struggle to get this out of here. Oh yeah, we're going to do the drill train. While we're doing that, uh, I'm not going to like name all of the color numbers. That seems obnoxious. Um, so yeah, I said why I got this kit, but I always like to make playlists for my kits. And the song that this one made me think of was uh, Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. Because my aunt was super into Pink Floyd. Um, and I miss her all the time. She passed away from lung cancer uh, when she was... 50. I was 13, so I feel like I didn't really, like, she didn't get to see me turn into a person. So, uh, I just, I wish she was here a lot, and I feel like we would both be super obsessed with diamond painting together, and that's kind of rough, but, so that's, that was the first song, so the rest of the songs are just kind of ones that I think she would like from present day, and then, uh, ones that I know that she liked back in, back in her heyday. Trying to show the three tens. <laughs> You, you can't really tell, but they look, I mean, yeah, they look good. Um, and I think I was pointing out the numbers on a couple of these because I like when you have a bunch of consecutive numbers, like 796 through 799, um, because that usually means the shading is going to be ridiculously good. And it's not going to be that really like choppy, chunky thing that pixel art can do. So I'm showing some of the smaller colors now. I will link the playlist in the description below. It might not be complete by the time I put this video up, but it'll be on there. Yeah, even the greens have some really good color gradients, so I was very excited about that going through these. Just searching for those ABs, man. But I just, there, there's not a lot of the ABs. I mean, there's not a lot of kits, so that makes sense. And there we go, 134. That's that green mermaid scale looking AB. I'm trying to show you the, sh the sparkles. You can see it. You get it. And then if you've ever done a diamond art clip kit in your life, you've probably seen 141, but it's it's just like a, an ivory. So it looks very almost opalescent, but it's not milky, so it's not technically opalescent. I looked up the definition once because I wanted to make sure I was using the right words for these videos because I'm precious. Yep. Yeah, they look good. <laughs> what I'm saying. 
Also, this is my first round pit since like April. So I'm very excited. Yep, 141. Oh, I'm saying it's, it's uh, the number two. So I'm looking for where they are. Oh, yep, pointing out all the little dots. But there's just a, they're just kind of sprinkled. There's not like a chunk of them anywhere. They're just sprinkled in the in the background a little bit. Nothing too exciting as far as like shocking placements or anything. It's almost like little stars. Yeah, I'm just pointing. I'm just pointing away. I'm so proud of me for doing this after I had like a really hard day. I had a meltdown for about three hours uh, the day before this or two days before this. So the fact that I was able to do this at all is pretty incredible. Oh, yep. Green is number one. So it's going to be sprinkled in the globe, in the, in the land, in the globe, just little tiny bits. There's not, there's not much of it, but honestly, I think it, it looks pretty great on its own. Yeah. That really bright, like yellow green color. That's the ones. So yeah, I'm trying to show there's uh, some color blocking in there, which I'm very excited about because my last kit was super confetti heavy and like computer generated. So I'm excited for some sweet, sweet hand rendering. I'm trying to find an example of freaking confetti, but it's like, it's like color blocked confetti on this kit. So it was just kind of hard to like find a spot. I was like, yeah, a little bit in there. <laughs> Not really. Um, so yeah, I, I like to have a little mix of both because all of the confetti makes for really good detailing and shading and all of the color blocking makes for like really high definition. Oh yeah, it's curling up a little bit, so I'm trying to like roll it back real good. Because it is poured glue, so you can do that. It's no biggie. It'll be just fine. I always twist it like this. I don't know why. Friction. <laughs> ah, there it goes. This one uh, was just kind of like, there were spots where the plastic cover wasn't like fully on. There were just like a lot of air bubbles, but it... I did buy it for Black Friday and it is currently July and it's been bumping around in the van with me since May. So uh, that is 100% my fault and I'm not super worried about it because when you peel back the cover, it like kind of starts to fix itself anyway. I've done one section on this kit and it's already starting to, to work its way out. So I'm not super concerned about it, but I just like to peel black. Pid pith. As you can tell, my voice is still not 100% back. Uh, I'm just trying to peel back the cover because I, I just, it, the, the bubbles bother me. It's not like an actual problem. There we go. I'm trying to put it out in a way that you can see the whole thing. Oh, oh, what are we doing? Oh, yep. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram if you want. Uh, they've got, yeah, the lifetime warranty as long as you're the one that bought the kit. So, yeah. And it's licensed, copyright Mandy Manzano. So all of Diamond Art Club's artwork is licensed. That's the only kind of artwork that I will diamond paint now that I know what's up. I didn't always, but now we do. It's all right. We learn. Oh, yeah. I think it's at this point that I realize I fucked up and I need to get my tape measure uh, to measure this thing. But it's... If you've ever traveled in a van or an RV, you know it's it, you gotta like open this thing and move this thing to get to this thing, so you can open this thing and grab the thing that's in this thing to get the thing. <laughs> it's like it's it's a huge process to get anything in a van. Hey, we got the tape measure. Proud of me. Okay. Am I like measuring off camera? Yeah, I am. So I was saying it's about thirty-two ish. Wow, I'm really off camera. Sorry, friends. Like I said, <laughs> I was having a tough time. I was doing my best. I was working on not a lot of sleep, too. So, Oh, yeah, it's like... All, just barely, yep, it's barely short of 50, because I think it was supposed to be 50 centimeters tall. And I said, eh, no biggie. Okay, so... I think I'm just stalling because I knew I might want to say stuff at the end. Um, so yep, this is Always Us by Manny Manzano. I believe it's still available. I will link the kit in the description below. Uh, if you want to hear about why I couldn't freaking talk in this video, 
that'll be in a whip and chat uh, in a couple of weeks. I kind of try to push them back a little bit so people don't figure out where I am because I'm traveling and uh, living full time in a van by myself. I mean, with the dog, but uh, just for safety reasons, I like to push those back a while. But this one I had to, this unboxing, I had to push forward a little bit, but I'm really excited about this kit. So far, it's, it's really nice. And um, thanks for sticking around on this video because I know it's probably not your favorite way to watch something, but if you like it, like the video, hit the little thumbs up, subscribe if you want to. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> saying bye. Oh, and I have something on my face. Amazing. Amazing.